I'm Dr. Paul Looney, and I have been practicing psychiatry for over 30 years. I've been a physician for over 40, and I love the work that I do, helping people navigate difficult times in their life and deal with symptoms like anxiety, depression, um, attention deficit problems. One of the medicines that I like to use is called Lamotrigine. That's the generic name. It's marketed under the brand name Lamictal. The reason I like it is that unlike many other medications, it has a very good side effect profile. It doesn't cause the sexual dysfunction and weight gain that you often see with SSRI antidepressants. It doesn't cause the uh, problems with akathisia or tardive dyskinesia that you can see with atypical antipsychotics. It is an, a mood stabilizing agent, um, but it was uh, developed for seizure control and found to have very good effectiveness in mood stabilization and particularly helping with the downturns, the depressive side of the bipolar um, syndrome. So if you're a person who's dealing with depression or anxiety, you may want to consider Lamotrigine as a good alternative. Um, it does have a potentially very negative side effect in, in the, that in some cases it can cause a skin rash that can be um, disfiguring and life-threatening. Don't be too scared though because in the hundreds of people that I've prescribed it for, only a few have developed the rash and when we stop the medicine, um, it the rash quickly goes away. did have two clients who were so um, pleased with the way they were feeling on Lamotrigine that they kept taking it even after the rash started. In those two individuals, um, it advanced to the point that they needed a steroid dose pack to cause the rash to uh, disappear. However, um, the, the rest of the, the people that I've given it to that have uh, experienced a rash, some of them have moved on to another agent, but many of them will wait the six months between um, the first trial and the second and start at an even lower dose um, because the medication can be so useful, so helpful. Um, I like it for uh, depression, people with anxiety, uh, bipolar disorder, and for people who are taking uh, stimulant medicines and having some moodiness or mood swings with the stimulant. The Lamotrigine can be a great assist in uh, ameliorating or, or dampening those uh, mood swings. For some people who deal with um, compulsive behavior, like looking at pornography, or people who have a tendency to be overreactive and overly intense and irritable, the Lamotrigine can be very helpful in calming mood and giving the person a chance to think before they act. We all need that uh, microsecond before we respond or react to a stimulus so that we can think better about how to respond rather than react to that stimulus. Um, I find that Lamotrigine gives people a sense of, of support emotionally, a sense of calm. Um, I liken it to the difference between being on the lake in a little sailboat doing this when the waves get choppy and being in a houseboat or a barge where you still feel the impact of the waves, but it's not so upsetting and not so likely to capsize your ship. The Lamotrigine, by contrast, allows people to feel much calmer and steadier without feeling medicated, which I think is a huge win. So if you have one of these conditions, you might consider uh, speaking to your, your general practitioner, your internist, or your psychiatrist about trying Lamotrigine. Some of them may be um, hesitant because they may not have experience with it and may be scared off by the possibility of a rash. However, if you reassure them that you'll be vigilant and stop the medicine and let them know if there's any emergence of rash, they may be willing to do that. I generally prescribe a 60, uh, 60 tablet prescription of 25 milligrams, starting with one tablet a day for two weeks, going to two tablets a day for two weeks, and then advancing to four a day, which would be 100 milligrams. By that time, that supply of pills is running out and a new prescription will need to be submitted for the 200 milligram dose, which is your target dose. The first week or so, you'll want to half that 200 milligram pill and stick with 100 milligrams for a couple of weeks and then advance to the 200 milligram target dose. Unless you're a very small person 
um, women tend to need less medicine than men, and larger people tend to be, need more medication. Or if you have bipolar disorder or um, have a high metabolic rate, then 300 or 400 milligrams a day would be advisable. I don't want to take more than 200 milligrams in a dose. So up until the 200 milligram dose, you can take it once a day. But if you go beyond that, then it should be divided into uh, twice a day dosing. And um, that should be uh, very effective. If you have any comments or questions, you can put them below. And I hope this has been helpful and will encourage you um, to, to try Lamotrigine if you have one of the conditions mentioned in this video. Take care. God bless you.